What is up guys? So I just got in my uh, adjustable levers for the clutch and my parking brake. Um, I forget exactly what brand this is. I found it off of Amazon. I'll link uh, the, um, the actual item in the description. But overall, I mean, the, uh, the brake one, it was really easy to install. It was very quick. Uh, basically, all you have to do is just unscrew this bolt and the, uh, the new one just bolts right in. But for the clutch lever, it doesn't actually, so I had to sand this off. Um, the way that it came, it actually wouldn't fit into the clutch housing here for the lever. It wouldn't, you see how, um, actually, so yeah, the clutch lever itself, it wouldn't fit um, inside of the housing here. I'm just going to slide this in. It fits now, but previously, it wouldn't actually go all the way. It would just be offset a little, kind of like that. And uh, you couldn't get the bolt in um, without it. Um, you couldn't get screw in the bolt straight. So unfortunately, had to sand it off. I mean, no big deal. I guess, I don't know, you guys can tell me whether or not maybe it's like due to differences in the housing. Maybe they just gave you one that had a lot more just to be safe. Or maybe this is just pretty shoddy. Uh, manufacturing in terms of their tolerances but um, no big deal I'm just gonna pop this on and uh, see how it goes I'll give you guys my feedback after I've had some time to test it out alright guys I've just been testing out these adjustable levers and they're working pretty well for the most part the brake levers spot on the clutch it's mostly my fault. I wasn't paying attention to how much slack the stock one was, and uh, on my ride over, it just <laughs> I had forgotten to tighten it up. It looks like right there is good, um, so get out there again and see how that feels. I'm just going to wipe off my bike. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, if you do need to grind, um, let's check my messages here really quickly. Sorry guys, um, psh, uh, if you do need to grind, just watch out, um, it's okay if you have a few jagged edges, but, um, so basically what I did was I just started taking small layers off, uh, one at a time, and actually, it'll start fitting into the housing, but once you bolt everything in, the, uh, the, the clutch lever will start sticking. Right now my brake feels really good, brake lever feels good, clutch lever feels pretty good. But yeah, so like I was saying, um, just make sure when you're grinding, what you want to do is uh, keep on grinding until it doesn't stick anymore. But um, do it gradually or else you might end up with quite a bit of play um, that you can't adjust out with just the slack. So just be careful about that. All right, I'm going to get going here and um, slowly let out. It is a little bit different. It's not. It's definitely not in the same position as before, but... Again, that's, that's my fault, so if you guys are doing this, uh, just make sure you have a good visual reference for um, what you set the slack as. So both of these levers have six adjustable positions, which is perfect for someone like me. I have little tiny man hands, and uh, you know I can get all four fingers around on position two pretty easily, or just use two fingers if necessary. And yeah, I mean, the, uh, the long story short, the reason why I got, the main reason why I got these levers was actually because, I think I mentioned to you guys, took my bike in for a safety inspection. Oh man, it is wet out here. Dang. Roofed pavement too. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. But, took it in for a safety inspection. Obviously, it failed because I had broken off the tip of my clutch lever right in the beginning, I think that was one of my first videos, drop the bike, boom, out comes the tip, and uh, so the uh, the guy and myself were looking for the stock OEM clutch lever, and uh, he couldn't find it in his database, and so I was like, well, you know, I'll just go off on my own and find an adjustable pair, right, because again, small hands, right, and uh, I go on Amazon and I find a pair, I think these were like 35 bucks or so, pretty cheap. Get up to speed here. So 35 bucks, uh, pretty cheap. 
And the moment I ordered, I mean, I'm not trying to badmouth the company. I, I think, you know, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but uh, <laughs> uh, the moment I ordered, I didn't realize it was coming in all the way from China. <laughs> uh, it was probably, you know, an oversight on my part, but I was looking at the expected delivery date. It was like the end of June, which my safety inspections do at the end of this month. So, needless to say, I was a little bit worried. I was like, dang, like maybe I need to find a different clutch lever. But it ended up actually coming uh, fairly quickly. It came like within five or six days, which I thought was pretty suspicious too. It got through customs pretty damn quickly. And uh, of course, once I got it, right, it was at night and uh, I was trying to put on this freaking clutch lever and it just wouldn't go in. I was in my garage, I mean, the lighting wasn't all that great, but I, I could kind of see it definitely needed to be grinded down a little because I compared it with the stock lever and it was like an eighth of an inch thicker um, on that far side that I showed you guys. And man, was I pissed at that point because like, I wasn't thinking about like, oh, maybe like the, the clutch housing for some of these other bikes, maybe it's a little bit different. So they give you a little bit extra, right? So you can always sand it down to the appropriate size. I just, I just honestly thought at the time that they just did a really crappy job and I was really mad. But then I went online and I saw all these other people had the same problem and uh, they just said really simply just get a belt grinder, just sand it down no big deal, so uh, I, I was pretty pissed at the beginning, and uh, I actually ended up with this giant blister on my uh, index finger from having tried to uh, screw that stupid bolt in. I tried for like an hour. I, I know it sounds completely stupid, which it was. I was just I was just mad at that point. Like I, I knew rationally that it wasn't going to go in, but in the back of my mind, I was like, oh man, it's like it's like midnight, you know, I've been working on this for like over an hour, maybe it'll finally pop in, right, I don't have to go through the trouble of asking uh, someone to borrow their belt grinder and stuff like that, but <laughs> uh, in the end, uh, I could have saved myself a lot of trouble and just, you know, gone to bed, uh, called it a day at that point, and then gone back the next day. But yeah, just so you guys avoid my pitfalls too, if you get one uh, that doesn't happen to fit, just don't panic. Um, take your time with it when you're grinding it. You know, grind it down a little on all the sides. Just, I mean, it doesn't need to be super smooth. It's okay if there are few edges there. But um, just do it a little at a time and then, uh, you know, start bolting it in and see if it's getting stuck. If it's getting stuck, just sand it down a little bit more. And, uh, and you'll be fine. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, really quick little update video. And um, I think these levers are going to work out great after that initial trouble with getting them installed. And uh, hopefully I'll pass the safety inspection. I'm really hoping they don't like take off the lever to inspect my installation, right? They're going to see... I mean, the, the, the metal is black, right? So after you sand it down, it's like completely a silver. <laughs> They're going to take a look at this and say like, oh man, what the hell is this kid doing? Uh, hopefully that won't happen. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for future videos.